Good afternoon. This is the Geneva Shore Report down here at Riviera Beach. And, well, it is much quieter than it was this past week and weekend. We have the beach to ourselves today. Even the seagulls are gone. There's not even any birds to feed. But it still is a beautiful day here in Lake Geneva. We are here on and with. Good afternoon, everyone. It is Monday, January 3rd. February 3rd. Oh, February 3rd. Thank you, Jen. 2020. I'm Lisa Otto. Jen Lepkowski. And the Geneva Show Report. Good afternoon. We are here for the Monday afternoon weather and news report. So right now in the weather, it is beautiful out here. We've had sunshine all day long and it's been fabulous. We will take as much sun as we can get right now because we went through a long stretch without any sun. So yesterday we had lots of sun again today. Today has felt a lot nicer than yesterday, even though the temperature was actually warmer yesterday, but that wind yesterday was just oh, it was brutal it was a little brutal it was so right now 40 degrees feels like 34 north winds oh here we go six seven seven point two miles an hour seven oh eight point four eight point four so they are getting up to 10 miles an hour at times our low tonight will be 27 degrees now tomorrow is going to be a little bit cooler we're going to have a high of 31 degrees and a low of 19 and a little more cloud coverage. Hopefully we still get a little bit of sun, but um, it is going to feel more like winter tomorrow. It is, you know, February. I was going to say the end of January. <laughs> so it close. is the beginning of February, so it is expected to, to have these kind of temps. In fact, we've been unseasonably um, warm this winter. No matter what month you're looking at. We've been very fortunate. We've been very fortunate. Mm -hmm. And yes, it has really, um, the, the crowds have died down a little bit. Winterfest is officially over and cleanup has begun. Everyone is getting all of the, the props and accessories and all the extras that have been laid out around Lake Geneva put away because, well, put away until next Winterfest. So Winterfest 21, everything will be put away in store. And this year, the newest addition of props were all of the bonfire pits and um, all of the accessories that came from the Rusty Pelican. They create these items out of recycled material and they're beautiful. They did a really great job. We had some really cute snowmen made out of different irons and, and steel and uh, metals. And then of course the big um, garbage can canisters with Winterfest carved into them the bonfire pits, the seating. They had seating out of recycled different metal pieces. It was like the coolest thing ever. Rusty Pelican is located in Delavan and Lexi and Travis did a great job on all the items and with the delivery. So um, we're really excited to have that added to our Winterfest fun and to our assortment of wonderful props and accessories. Um, okay, and then tonight we have a committee of the whole meeting, 6 p.m. City Hall, which will be, I'm sure, very eventful. We're curious to see what the public is concerned about and what they're going to be discussing tonight. No other major things on the agenda, but of course, all of the public comments are very important and must be heard. So we will be there to share that with you. Tomorrow we have a personnel committee meeting at 4 p.m and they will be discussing the new parking meter or the parking manager position that is now available in Lake Geneva and they're going to get authorization to post that position so people can apply for it. And again at the finance license and committee meeting tomorrow night at 6 p.m. at City Hall they will be discussing that once again and they will also be discussing the parking rate increase possibility um, here in Lake Geneva. Without a parking manager, I don't know how that's going to work at this moment, but I mean, parking's an issue and always will be an issue here in Lake Geneva. So we're going to be there to find out more about that. Wednesday morning, a bid meeting over at Harbor Shores, 8 a.m. So it's always a great one. And it, they do a lot of um, talk of the actual business district, the downtown yes. area and different things that involve the business district. So. Oh. 
And we should get an update on the cocoa crop oh, also. Yes. We would like to hear some numbers. Yes. We want to know if it was I'm a very interested. Year because it sure seemed like it. It was packed and crowded. I think Winterfest was a record setting year. I think so too. Yeah. Especially the cocoa crop by 5 5 30. There are a handful of businesses already out, out. of all their trees. Yep. So all impressive. Right. Yes. All right, so there you have it, everyone. Enjoy your Monday, and we'll be back tomorrow morning with more weather, road, and news reports. I'm Lisa Otto. John Lepkowski. And the Geneva Shore Report. Bye. Bye.